South Carolina's incredible season came to a crashing halt last night at the hands of uh, Caitlin Clark and Iowa Hawkeyes. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Game Cut Chuck coming at you today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, help this channel grow. Uh, let's get into this uh, video. Like I said last night, you know, South Carolina uh, was in the Final Four and they took on a very good, uh, very disciplined, a well coach, a well game plan coach. Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, it was a great matchup, man. It was it was actually one for the ages, in my opinion. It's an instant classic, uh, in my opinion. Like I said in my other video, this should have been the championship matchup because that was a good game. Um, don't take anything away from South Carolina and their incredible season. Um, they forty two straight wins. Uh, this senior class was one of the best senior classes in all of South Carolina women's basketball history. Um, remarkable uh, four-year run for them. They had uh, one home loss, and they only had like, I believe it was like nine losses, you know, in their career at South Carolina. So, you know, great job by uh, the uh, the seniors last night. Uh, ready to see what they'll do in the next level. But uh, like I said, last night just wasn't our night. Um, we ran into a, a very, very good Iowa team that uh, exposed our weakness, in my opinion. Um, they sagged down low into the paint and dared us to shoot the three ball, which South Carolina is not uh, a very good three-point shooting team, as uh, we saw last night going 4 of 20 from the three-point line. So, you know, great game plan by Lisa Bluter and uh, the Hawkeye uh, staff uh, just – I mean, they look. It you could tell they studied our our film and they they knew what our weakness was and they they went after it and they exposed it and you know like I said, hats off to them as they advance to the uh, championship game tomorrow. So, um, like I said, we just didn't have no, we just couldn't make the right adjustment. Um, we couldn't uh, just get any rhythm going. Uh, it hurt when Aaliyah Boston fouled out early. Uh, or not fouled out when she got in foul trouble in the first uh, first half. So she set out the whole second quarter and uh, a little bit of the first uh, first quarter as well. But you know we still had good good bench participation. We, you know had girls come off the bench and keep us in that game. It was only a one point game or something like that, one or two point game at half. So you know good job by the ladies that come off the bench to uh, you know pick up you know Boston's. Uh, you know, pick up while Boston was on the bench. So, you know, I thought, you know, South Carolina, you know, they fought all night. I know I figured they would uh, make that final push at the end with their depth and their bench, and it just never came through. You know, the pick and roll killed us a bunch. Uh, Caitlin Clark, phenomenal shooter, prolific three-point shooter. I mean, this girl, um, she was she played her game. She balled out last night. There's no, no, you can't take nothing from her. Uh, she was hitting threes, logo threes, uh, the pick and pop, like I, or the pick and roll, like I said, was killing us. You know, we dropped, they dropped two defenders to her and she made good passes to Susano and, you know, the ladies down low and they made us pay. You know, we had no answer for that pick and roll. Uh, Caitlin Clark, she, you know, she beat us off the dribble, uh, got to the basket with ease many, many times, too many times to be honest with you. Um, no idea why. Uh, Bree Bill didn't guard her from the beginning of the game, but that's neither here nor there. You know, that's not an excuse. Uh, Caitlin was going to get hers regardless, but I just wish, uh, you know, we would have played uh, Bill on her the whole game. I think it would have probably been a, maybe a little bit different of a game, but, you know, we never can tell. We can't get this game back, so we're going to move on. Like I said, great class, great senior class, moving on to the WNBA. So looking forward to seeing uh, what they're going to do in the future. I'm still rocking my Gamecock gear, so I ain't got to worry about that. I'm Gamecock through and through, so we'll we'll reload. We got a good class coming in, uh, the 23 class. So, and you know we're gonna keep keep getting top notch recruits, and uh, we'll be back in the uh, in the Final Four and in the, playing for championships within. The, you know, we're not going nowhere. So if you think we are, uh, you're sadly mistaken. So, but uh, like I said, it was a great game last night. Clark had 41, and like I said, we just, we just couldn't stop them. And like I said, they just, you know they were the better team, and they won, and they moving on. And like I said in my previous video, I think, well, 
They're going to beat LSU. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be my prediction. They're going to wear LSU out. LSU ain't going to be able to match up with them. And Caitlin Clark, uh, she's probably going to put about 50 on LSU, in my opinion. So that's just my thoughts. Y'all can drop a comment let me know uh, what you guys think as well. So we shall see. But uh, like I said, historic run for the Gamecock come to an end last night. Um, Coach Daly and her staff and the ladies, you know, great job. Let's uh, get back in. Get back in the uh, in the gym and get working for uh, for next year and try to get back to the to the tournament and get back to the you know the championship matchup or the final four and see what we can do next year. So, but uh, hey, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the matchup last night or the game. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to help this channel grow for all your Gamecock contents that I put out there. And uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching Gamecock Chuck. I'm out. Go Gamecocks.